trust, uh, using the culture. Uh, in the next few minutes, I'm going to prove to you that uh, this fiberglass here, two inches, and this is a glass gloss. This is the newest uh, PTA culture. It's a fiberglass uh, fiber that's coated with polyester. And this particular culture restricts the airflow more than my filter. This culture uses more energy than this culture. The reason why I'm showing you that is that um, my filter, my filter, cleans in the air and my own particles. The uh, polyester uh, fiberglass filter does that. So for the same amount of energy or electricity that you use it to move air through the filters, my filter will clean the lot of damage it does half a micron size particles for the uh, occupants of your building. Half a micron. So, uh, I'm running the test at uh, 400 feet per minute. I can also run the test at 30. Maybe I ought to do that. Let's run the test at Initial reading is uh, 0 0.21 static pressure and 1050, or, uh, 1050 CFM with a 20 by 20 filter. And we're using 223 watts with no filter in the system. Okay, I'm going to put the fiberglass filter in. Here's the fiberglass filter. You've seen them before. You can hear the motor speeding up. This fiberglass air filter, two inch. is using uh, 0 0.44 inches water gauge at 1050 and 280 watts. Again, 280 watts, 0 0.44, and now I want to show you the particle count. Try. Particle count is sitting right here at uh, about 1050, 10, 1052. 1050. Okay? So this is the fiberglass filter from Glass Loss. The number is uh, 1050. 1046. Now I'm going to take the filter out. And what I want to show you there is that the particle count is not changing that much. So the particle count is pretty much staying the same. Oops. 1050. Now, the next, next thing I want to do is I want to put in my filter, it's polypropylene, and what I'll show you is that it has a lower particle count and it has lower static and wattage. So we're at 1054. Now watch the numbers drop. Let me install it. Now I installed my filter, polypropylene, and now the particle count is dropping. The wattage is 272 
and 0 0.41. So it uses less wattage, 280 for fiberglass, 272 for my filter, and the water gauge, static pressure, for fiberglass is 0.44, and my polypropylene filter is 0.41. And now, the particle count is dropping. We were at 1050, now we're at 950. So you can see, for the same amount of money that you're going to spend on electricity to move the air through the filter, my filter, my polypropylene filter, will clean the air of half micron particles. Let me get a static pressure. Static pressure on my polypropylene filter is 0 0.41 at 1050 CFM and 272 watts, 271. And the Magna Helix, I have a Magna Helix in here. We're at an angle, but it is reading about, point, about 0.40 if you're at the right angle. There you go. There's the right angle. So this is the Magna Helix. And uh, I've designed a, um, a watt meter uh, with the Magna Helix, which is telling you about how many watts it's using. That's way off. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, that, oh yeah, that's, this is 11.50. This is 10.50 we're running now. Okay. So anyway, we're at 0.41. 272 watts. And 0 0.41 static pressure. Okay. The uh, next filter I want to test They say you can leave this filter in for six months. And let's measure the static pressure and the particle count and all that good stuff. Particle count's going up. So the cam fill fire 3030. Two inch plate, uh, zero static pressure, zero point five two. The watts are three hundred. CFM is ten fifty. Let's look at the particle count. Coming down. About 1020. I measured them before. They're about 5% on a half a micron. They don't go down to 950. But they're here about 1030. Okay. So the particle count is about 10.30, 10.20. The uh, cam filter used uh, more wattage than my filter. Uh, my filter was using 272, 274 watts. This is using 300 watts. Now we're using an ECM motor, 